New windows can make a big difference in your home's energy efficiency and value. However, when looking for new windows, it can be difficult to know where to start. That's why we've created a seven-step guide to simplify the process and make it as straightforward as possible. We've even included a step to help you get new windows at the best price. Keep watching to find out more. Step one, inspect your existing windows. There are many reasons why you may wish to replace your current windows, and there are some more obvious than others. Maybe they are poorly insulated and let the cold in, or have thin glass that doesn't protect you from the outside noise. There could be mold on the frames, they could be damaged, or maybe you think that the windows you currently have are just ugly. Whatever your reasons for wanting to change them, inspecting your windows will help you to decide how many need changing and what you want to replace them with. Step two, choose your new window style. Something that many people don't even consider when getting new windows is that they don't necessarily have to match the style of their existing windows. It's most likely that you will have one of the three main window styles installed in your home. And these are casement windows, sash windows, and tilt and turn windows. Let's quickly cover how to identify each window style. Casement windows are attached to the window frame by side hinges with the whole window being capable of swinging open. They almost always open outwards and often include a handle with a locking mechanism. Sash windows are sliding windows that open vertically with the bottom half of the window sliding up and down. They are often found in older properties. That leaves us with tilt and turn windows that can actually open in two different ways. First of all, they can be made to tilt inwards with the base of the window acting as a hinge, which is ideal for letting a bit of air into your home. Secondly, they can be opened fully using their side hinges like a casement window. However, tilt and turn windows open inwards rather than outwards. Okay, so now you can identify which window style you have, you can decide on whether you want to keep the same style or change it. Do bear in mind, however, that if you decide to get new windows that significantly change the outward appearance of your home, it may be harder to get building regulation approval for the work to be done. And if you live in a listed building, you may need to get planning permission in order to replace your windows. A good rule of thumb when choosing which window style to have is to consider which style of window best suits the aesthetics of your home. This will prevent them from looking out of place and give your home a nice cohesive design. Step three, choose your window frame material. So once you've decided on your window style, you can then choose a material for your window frame. There are three window frame materials available, UPVC, wood, and aluminium. Each material has its benefits and drawbacks. UPVC windows are probably the most popular window frame material in the UK, and for good reason too. UPVC is easy to maintain, provides a good amount of insulation, and comes in many different colors and styles. You can even get wood effect UPVC windows should you be looking for traditional style frames. UPVC is reasonably inexpensive too, with a 900mm by 1200mm window costing between 750 and 850 pounds. However, UPVC windows are only available in a limited amount of colors. They cannot be painted a specific color of your choice. They can also lack a bit of character and look out of place in traditional homes. If you're looking for a material that's suited to traditional homes, you can't go wrong with wood or timber window frames. These can commonly be found in older properties and have the benefit of being very customizable. Wooden window frames offer very good thermal insulation too. However, they have shorter lifespans than UPVC and aluminium frames, as they are prone to weather damage and rotting. Wood is the most expensive window frame material too, with a 900mm by 1200mm window costing between £1200 and £1300. That leaves us with the final option of aluminium window frames. These are highly customizable as they can be painted. They are highly durable window frames too. The main drawback of aluminium frames is that they are not particularly effective at insulating your home. This can lead to your energy bills being higher than if you went with wood or UPVC frames. Aluminium frames are a relatively cheap option though, with a 900mm by 1200mm window costing between 650 and 750 pounds. Whichever frame material you go with, the next thing you need to do is to look at the window panes themselves. Step four, choose a glass type. 
This is a relatively simple step as the two main glass options are double and triple glazing. Double glazing is currently the most popular glass choice as it provides extra insulation and is generally quite affordable. Triple glazing offers more effective insulation than double glazing, which means your windows will keep even more heat in your home in colder weather. However, triple glazing costs twice as much as double glazing on average, so this decision will most likely be driven by your budget. Step 5. Get your window measurements ready. In order to get window quotes from window fitters, you need to provide two pieces of information. How many windows you want to replace and what their dimensions are. You can get the first piece of information by simply counting the number of windows in your home that need replacing. Easy. To get accurate measurements for each window, you should do the following. Record all measurements in centimeters and millimeters. Take the measurements from the outside where possible. Measure each window's height and width in three separate places. Take the smallest measurement for each window and deduct one centimeter from it. This way, you make sure the windows will not be too large and any extra gaps can be filled in by the window fitters. And finally, triple check your measurements before providing them to an installer. Getting the measurements as accurate as possible will ensure that you get a quote as accurate as possible. Step six, get the best deal by comparing quotes. Once all of your measurements have been recorded, you should then get quotes from at least three installers in your area. This allows you to compare their services and prices and pick the best deal that is the best suited to you. However, if you do this alone, it can be a long drawn out process that eats up hours of your time and can be quite stressful. So that's where we come in. At Greenmatch, we have access to a wide network of window companies all across the UK. This allows us to help you find window installers near you with ease. Our service is fast, hassle-free, and doesn't cost you a penny. Simply fill out a short form in less than a minute, then sit back and we'll find local window installers for you. It's that easy, and all you have to do to get started is click the link in the description below. Once you've picked the most suitable quote and you are ready to have your windows installed, there's only one more thing to do. Step seven, prepare for the installation. This step is pretty simple. You just need to agree an installation date with your installer. Make sure there is nothing blocking the windows that you want to have replaced. Then sit back and wait for your new windows to be installed. By following these steps, not only will your window installation process go smoothly, but you'll also be getting your new windows installed, safe in the knowledge that you haven't been ripped off or haven't overpaid. If you don't compare quotes before making a commitment, you could end up paying twice as much as you need to. So definitely do not skip step six. Remember there's a link in the description to our free quote comparison service. It only takes a minute and it could cut your installation costs in half. Okay, that's currently all the advice that we have to offer you on windows. But windows are not the only way to make your home more energy efficient. If you'd like to know how to save hundreds of pounds on your heating per year, then make sure to watch this video next. And finally, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe for more guides like this. Thanks, I'll see you in the next one.